Patrick de Moustier. Some people call me Dunn. I work uh, for PRG, formerly EML, for about 30 years as a sound designer. This is my, I guess, 25th edition of Pucal Pop. Pucal means exactly what it is in English, pupils. So it's a kind of a small festival started 25 years ago. It has been grown over the years, so now this year we have 10 stages. I didn't do a head count, but <laughs> I think it's more than 100,000 a day. Pucal Pop is, I think the crowd is younger. Well, in the beginning, the music was much more alternative. But now, these days, that has changed a bit. The music is more mainstream, but in Belgium, I think it's the festival with the youngest crowd. It is definitely in the upper echelon on every side. I mean, you know, the artist hospitality, that artist world is super comfortable and fun. The production's always been top notch in my memory. I, I remember whether I was happy or not. As soon as I see a festival on an itinerary, I remember if I was super happy or kind of happy or not happy at all. That, I mean, that always stays. And Pucal Pop's like, yeah, we get to go to Pucal Pop. The food's gonna be good. Everyone's gonna be nice. The production's gonna be great. It's like, yeah, it's super easy. Uh, the organization of Pucal Pop, they, uh, they are promoters of concerts, but club concerts. So they're really into new bands. They, they try to give the new band a chance to to, to play on a real stage with a real PA and stuff, so. Uh, today was great. Today was awesome. It was actually a really good set. It sounded really nice out here. It was a really nice sound system, and uh, the band was really good today. It's nice having a good system, and we definitely need the subs. The more subs, the merrier. We got a lot of sub in our tracks. It's hip hop and, and pop and stuff, so we definitely got a lot of subs in our tracks, so it was definitely us feeling that, for sure. The sub seems to have endless power. It's like. Uh, okay, this is loud, and then you look at the limiters and you hardly see anything happening there. So it's, it's, you, you feel like driving a Formula One car, you know, driving like on a, on a normal highway with a, a race machine, you know? It's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> For me, as long as there's loads of big boxes hanging, it's all nicely arrayed, and there's shitloads of sub, then I'm happy. Though. And as long as the, uh, the noise police aren't too severe, then I, it's, it's happy days for everybody. Uh, very well organized. The stage itself, uh, the layout, the crew, um, the PA, everything very good. The low end is really important with these kind of shows. In drum and bass, it's big time about the sub, it's about that bottom octave. Right? So if you've got a system that, can, uh, that gives you all that weight, but it gives you the, uh, the accuracy, so, so the note, okay, for each note comes through, rather than being a, just a big slab of, of, of fat noise at the bottom end, you want some musicality there, and that's one of the things I like about this rig. We're very proud this year because it's the first time we can do this stage, the main stage, with a full new uh, Adamson Energia system, which means we all have the same boxes. All the delay system, front fills, main PA, subs, it's all from the latest uh, series of Adamson. And everything is powered with the same type of club group and PLM amps here. And everything is controlled via Dante Network. On stage we also have a Sidefill E12, which is new for us as well. And for the first time we use a smaller sub, Adamson released the E119. It's perfect for drum fill, so I think we found ourselves a new drum fill from today on. It was quite impressive, the, the improvement we had this year. The color balance of the sound is also the same everywhere, because it's the same box, which helps us enormously. The tuning was incredibly fast. I think I only spent two and a half hours to tune the whole system. It's, it's, it's a big system. Everybody seems to be very happy with the system. It sounded great. Uh, I'm not a, a huge kind of PA tech enthusiast or anything, but um, did everything I wanted to. Didn't have to mess with anything. No uh, crazy kind of sub levels or anything. So yeah, it was really good. Sounded rounded. I could open my show file and I was happy within the first few seconds. So great stuff. With the Adamson ring here today, like, I mean, these guys have got it set up so sweetly. Like, for me, I can run, running flat out of my board. Like, no EQ, and it's killing. It's brilliant. Really happy. One, it's up there in one of the best shows we've done. Yeah. As far as crowd and people and hospitality, yeah, probably one of the best. It was fantastic. I mean, I really enjoyed the rig right out of the gate. You know, I like when it starts and I, there's, I'm not even in a panic at all. I'm like, whoa. 
Okay, we'll settle it in, you know, but when it starts half decent, the audience doesn't even notice as you, you know. And, and I've been through both sides too, where guys are just kind of disinterested and tired and, you know, aren't super helpful. And then there's guys like Patrick today spent 45 minutes with me this morning taking this digital show from a different, you know, a different model of the same brand of console and, you know, moving shit around for me and, and asking me how I wanted stuff so that it was in the order I'm used to. And it really made it like, a really workable show on a console that I don't see that often. So it, that really made a big difference for sure. I appreciate that.